Welcome back, Ketoers. So I got an email uh, from Keto Delivered, and uh, they they basically, without going into the whole uh, details of it, it was just like, hey, congratulations on getting back into it. You know, we're we're happy for you and, and stuff. So uh, they did send me a Keto Delivered box for this month. So I'm going to go ahead and open it on the channel. And, uh, you know, once upon a time, whenever I did do these, uh, regularly, I would try all the items and kind of go over it and stuff and, um, and do all that. So, let's see what we got here. So, this is the card. It has a recipe on it with one of the uh, items from the box. And uh, the first thing we got is Moon Cheese. Uh, so, I have had Moon Cheese before. This is Gouda, which I have not had. Um, let's look at the ingredients here because part of the the keto thing is uh, to try and keep the ingredients fairly simple. So hopefully all the stuff in this box has relatively few ingredients. So let's check it out. Uh, this is Gouda cheese, um, cheese cultures, salt, and enzymes. So pretty simple. It's basically just cheese that's been cooked. Um, so. I do love Gouda, so I'm thinking this will probably be pretty Gouda. <laughs> uh, bad jokes. Okay. What else we got here? We've got Kettle and Fire uh, Bone Broth. Uh, this is Mushroom Chicken Bone Broth. And the ingredients are Chicken Bone Broth, um, Chicken Broth, Organic Portobello Mushrooms, Organic Celery, Organic Roasted Poblano Peppers, Organic green pepper, organic onion, organic car carrots, uh, organic garlic, organic scallions, organic tomato puree, organic lion's mane mushroom powder, organic herbs, parsley, th thyme, <laughs> rosemary, basil, basil leaves, organic spices, organic black pepper, and sea salt. Um, so there's two servings per container. Serving size is one cup. So there's two cups right here in this, and it is one carb per serving. So, uh, bone broth is one of those things that you can do to uh, help yourself with uh, your electrolytes and whatnot. It keeps the uh, the keto flu at bay if you're just starting out. So, uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, I think I've gotten it before, and I did like it. So, I'm not sure if I had the mushroom one before, but eh, who knows? It's been a little while. Alright, next up we've got breakfast cereal from that company whose name I don't know how to pronounce so here's this if you got a good shot of it in there okay so uh i have had something like this before but it wasn't the strawberry one um let's see ingredients sunflower seeds pumpkin seeds coconut chips erythritol hazelnuts coconut oil uh no added sugar chocolate uh, Brazil nuts, pecans, cinnamon, and freeze-dried strawberries and vanilla powder. So, once again, fairly simple ingredients. Um, this I'll go ahead and try because I haven't, and I really like strawberries. So, let's see what we got going on here. If I can get it open. Okay. So, let's get a little mouthful there. A little bit of everything in one bite. It was also the first thing I've had all day. Ooh. This is really good. Yeah. All right. I can get behind this. Um, you've got that strawberry taste because it is freeze-dried. Um, as far as the carbs go, it is um, 4.5 grams of carbs. Dietary fiber is 4. So... You'd subtract the 4 from that 4.5. So you should have 0.5 carbs per serving. Uh, and a serving is one-tenth the size of the bag. So a fourth a cup. And it is only 0.5 net carbs. So that's pretty cool. I do like the flavor. I'm not real big on coconut. But this doesn't really have an overpowering coconut flavor, surprisingly. It's, it's in there, and you can tell that it's in there. But it's really not that bad. Set that over there. Alright, next up is something in bubble wrap. And watch me in my inability to open something that's wrapped in bubble wrap. 
Okay, at first I was joking. Okay. Whew. All right. That was a little bit of a... Some business there. All right. The Gracious Gourmet Black Olive Tapenade? I don't know. I've never had tapenade before. I'm not even sure what this is. Um, looks like it goes on crackers. Well, it's like a spread, basically. Um, ingredients. Black olives, olive oil, water, salt, vinegar, lactic acid, acetic acid, citric acid, exorbit, uh, acid, sunflower oil, extra virgin olive oil, capers, vinegar, salt, absorbic acid, parsley, lemon juice, and spices. It is vegan friendly, and you should refrigerate after use. Um, I'm honestly not super duper big on just plain old black olives. Um, so I will hold off on this, but I might try it at a later date. What else do we got? Ketoilent by Keto & Co. These are the guys who make that, uh, that breakfast mix, too. Um, I've never had this in particular, but it looks cool. Um, I'm not really super big on the replacement shakes, um, just because I prefer to have, like, legitimate food, like, in my stomach instead of just, uh, liquid. Um, but always cool to have in a pinch, so I will hang on to that for a future time. And last in the box, looks like, we've got the Drawworks, um, Beef Air Dried Sticks, uh, South African recipe. Now, I have had these before, and they are friggin' delicious. Um, so for these, the ingredients are beef, vinegar, sea salt, water, coriander, pepper, and cloves. Easy enough, and it's in a sheep casing, so, you know, you just love putting a sheep case on there. All right, uh, 180 calories, uh, less than one carb per container, so this whole bag has less than one carb in it. Um, I will eat these later as well, but I do love those. So, um, thank you Keto Delivered for sending this out to me. I do appreciate it and appreciate the support as well. Uh, and then for everybody else, uh, if you dig it, uh, feel free to check it out. I'm, I'm not sure how much it costs anymore. Uh, I think it's still probably around 40 bucks. Um, and they did send this to me for free, like I said, uh, but opinions are always going to be honest, uh, from me. So if I don't like it, I probably won't try it. Um, it's like the olive stuff. I don't really know what to do with this. I, Megan likes olives, so she'll probably eat this regardless of if she's on keto anymore or not. Um, but, you know, if I have something good to say about it, I'll say it. If I don't, I won't. Uh, or I'll, I'll still say it, but I'll say that I don't like it. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I will see you on Thursday. Bye-bye. <laughs>